look at how we can print out our Gantt charts so that they're readable. You'll notice here that I have a project with several different tasks in it, some of which have a pretty long duration. As such, if I come up here to File, Menu, and I choose Print, you'll see that this is going to print over a series of 10 pages. So that's fairly long. That's too long for any meaningful review of that chart. So what I want to do is I want to print it. Let's say that I want to print it so that it's just on one page. Now, there's uh, several different ways that people will approach this. I'm going to show you the wrong way first. The wrong way is that some people will know that, oh, I can go to Page Setup, and I can choose that I want this to fit just on one page. Okay, This is not what we want to do, and I'll show you why. If I choose that, you notice it will fit this to one page, but look what it's done. It's actually shrunk down uh, everything to such a small size that it's unreadable what the actual time scale is here. Okay, so we're not going to do that. We'll take that uh, off. Okay. So now we're back to our time scale of uh, that's going to show that we have 10 days. Okay, I'm going to show you the correct way to deal with this at this time. We're going to go back here to the actual uh, Gantt chart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the scale of my chart. I'm going to do this by going to the View menu. And you'll notice here it says Time Scale Days. I'm going to change this, let's say, to Months. And perhaps that will work a little bit better for me. That gets it almost all on one page. And I can uh, make these uh, columns a little bit less wide. Uh, and, for example, any columns that I don't need, I could, for example, hide that column entirely. And so let's go back to printing right now and let's see how that looks. Okay, now it looks like I got it all fit on one page and you'll notice that I can read what that time scale is. There's other things that you can do. For example, you can print only certain sections of your project rather than the whole thing. We aren't going to get into all that. I will make one other mention here is that is if we come down to Page Setup, you will see that we can set things about the header and footer. So for example, if I want to put a page number, I can do that. I can also choose, for example, the project start date, and I can add that in the uh, left-hand side of the header if I would like. You notice it has this particular um, value here, the short code, and it, that's going to show you what it's going to actually put in there. I can also do the same thing for the footer. So I can put in different page numbers in either the left, center, or right part of the footer. I might, for example, if I was a student, put in my name. If I was printing this out for an assignment. And my student ID down here. If I do that, then that's going to add that to my uh, printout of the scan chart. Okay, so that is how we want to go about uh, getting our projects ready to print.